Hi everybody, it's Blitz Girl again, and I'm going to do a drawing on Drawception. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? The most famous Finnish word? Finnish, huh? Oh, it's a profanity <laughs> or something. Um, no, I don't really feel like drawing that. No. Let's find something. Oh. Nope. I is watering a windmill. Whenever I see Guy, I usually draw Guy Fieri just because. But I, I'm not really feeling the windmill part of that at the moment. No. 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 Come on, pick one. 8 bit ostrich battle. Well, that sounds fun, but I don't know if I want to draw ostrich. Oh, favorite animal. Oh, no. I don't know what my favorite animal is. I love animals. Maybe I'll do some kind of big cat. Cause that's that's my favorite category. Maybe I'll do a uh, caracal. Because I dig those cats. They're not big cats. They're small cats. But I mean, look at that. Look at that. Whoosh. They are leapers. Um, maybe that one. Maybe that one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's take a look at these. That's really small. Oh, I have them zoomed out. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's do this one. And that. So let's get, all right, one and a half minutes in. That's where I like to start. Um, get some scribbly background. I've been doing a lot of these with the videos. I don't know why. Probably because I'm talking and scribbles are really easy to do, even while you're talking. I'm kind of mindless. We and the other way. I'm right-handed, so this way is against the is against the natural way. So it's harder for me to do scribbles at this angle. It's easier to do them the other way. And one more layer. That way I can hide Batman in the scribbles again. I know, I'm being uncreative with Batman. Once I get into the hang of these videos, I might not be so uncreative. In some panels, I actually base the whole thing around Batman. But you have to be prepared to do that. I mean, that's a commitment right there. I have this one panel of like a pirate ship that's completely... The whole pirate ship is a Batman. And so that, that was really, that really took up a lot of my time, getting that guy in there. Okay. One more layer of this. Okay, now let's look at this. He's so, those ears are huge. Okay, maybe we'll zoom out one more. 
You gotta fit both him or her and the ears in there. So the head's really gonna be down here. Just kind of rough out the shape of the head. Um, that goes out a little too far. Okay, and then here's we're gonna do kind of a paler color. Cream color. I never know what to call this color. It's kind of peach or cream. In an old Crayola box it would have been called flesh tone, which is really kind of offensive to a lot of people. I don't know. Peach is usually what I go for. It's kind of a light peach. All right. Yeah. Name your crayon colors out of after fruits because it's harder to offend people that way and you don't disqualify an entire race or two or, or three or ten of people if you name it after pomegranate or plum banana now my favorite Crayola color of I don't know, the 64 box or whatever was probably Purple Mountain's Majesty so kind of a light purple, and purple is my favorite color. The caracals are really kind of orangey red, but this picture is kind of light, so I don't know how much. Maybe add some flecks of orange in there. Right, orange. So they, these are really pretty animals. I've seen two in zoos. One of them was sleeping, so I didn't get a very good look at her, but they're very pretty cats. I don't know if they're my favorite animal because I don't really know what my favorite is, but they're definitely in the running. In the top list of animals I like. Okay, then also this. Actually, I don't know if I'll use. That's what I call cream, that yellowy color. I don't know if I'll use it though in this one because I want it to stay kind of the warmer reds. Yellow doesn't quite match it. Okay, get the eyes around going here, under three minutes. And I need to write out the favorite animal a bit too. Um, no, I don't want it to be up there. Where am I going to write this? I'll just go fave. Fave animal. Okay, now I need to get his ears. Ooh, 
look at that tuft going there. Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> like I'm not talking anymore. I'm too quiet. My nose. Eyes. No. Smaller brush. Smaller brush. Where are you? It's kind of looking a little bit foxy, which is not what I intended. But that's okay. I'll just think it's a fox. I don't have to pass it on. Um, sort of looks like a caracal. I think it's the muzzle shape that's making it look a bit foxy. I should have rounded out the head more. See this kind of dips in and this kind of rounds out. But I think it's passable as a caracal. Let's see what position we are in. Oh, 12. Okay, 12 and 15. That should finish up pretty quickly. I'd be impressed if this actually stayed favorite animal all the way through. I mean, it's made it most of the way. Well, thank you for watching my video on Drawception, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.